Nocturnals, Chapter 1. As he ran toward her, she plastered his body with bullets. He fell to his knees and keeled over. When his torso unfurled and he fell flat on his face, there was a long, wooden projectile embedded in the middle of his back. It was a large wooden arrow with a green tag the dread, timber. A crowd of people ran toward the bloody scene, someone asking the shooter, why did you do it? I had nothing left to live for except running, so I stopped running and turned around to stop him forever, now I will always be a fugitive. The woman looked like a brunette version of Marilyn Monroe, she was sexy and voluptuous, dressed in a camouflage print safari-like jumpsuit. It looked like the beginnings of a nature movie, except for the murder. The incident happened at the Hollywood Reservoir, or a picturesque attraction which is just around the corner from the famous Hollywood sign. Emma paused the video. Where did you get this? I got a call this morning around 4 a.m. It was one of those altered voices. Anyway, it told me to be at that location by 8 a.m. no later, so, I called Jay and he was up for it, but we never expected this, Amber explained. Catching a murder in the act, I bet, Emma huffed and puffed, you'd better come up with a very good story and have the call you received well documented because they can charge us as an accessory or something. The police do not like us. Just then, Jay walked in. Yeah, tell us something we don't know. Ina, ah, uh, Emma, you need to really take a good look at what Amber is showing you. I don't think we got the whole story even though we taped it. There's something very curious going on here. Back it up to when she starts shooting. See, no blood. You don't see blood until he falls on his face, Amber stood over her computer and pointed with her finger. Thank you for listening to this excerpts of Nocturnals 3, Chapter 1. Nocturnals is thrilling with a pinch of romance, history, and humor. For more information, go to rzfbooks.com.